Hello, everyone, and welcome to day four of our Facebook Live interviews during our All Things TCS week. I am delighted to have today with me some of our very own students at Timothy Christian School. If you tuned in on Monday, you were able to see us with two of our pastors and our head of school, Dr. Spock, and then on Tuesday, we got to interview some of our very own parents, and yesterday, we had some of our faculty and now today we have three of our students. I wanna introduce you today to Emmanuel Guardado. He just finished his freshman year at Timothy Christian School. He is the oldest of three who all attend Timothy. Emmanuel, say hello mm -hmm. and tell us um, just about your freshman year experience at Timothy. Well, going into my freshman year, I was kind of, I guess you could say nervous because I saw a lot of like jokes and memes just about freshmen being kind of just the lowest of the low. But Timothy kind of had a remedy for that basically. So we go on this all school retreat every year now. And in, the, in that retreat, we had all these like games and activities where we all got to know each other like throughout all the high school. And then once we got back, it was more of like, oh, hey, yeah, yeah, I know you, I know you. Yeah, you're cool, you're cool. Instead of like, oh, look, a freshman, haha. You know what I mean? So. That's great. I'm glad it was that a good experience for you. We heard lots of rave reviews about the high school retreat. Just a great opportunity, right, to start to get to know others in the high school, not just from your own class, from the freshman class, but all grade levels, right? Yeah. So glad. Good. I also, I also yeah. really like the, the dynamic with sports, because when you're in eighth grade, you're basically like the most athletic, the most strong, the most fast. So it's like, oh, yeah, uh, okay. So but when you transition into high school, it's like, oh, there's some big guys out here. I got to try harder. And it makes you really have to compete, which should be, you should be competing in sports. Like, I really like that about it. That's great. Challenged you. Terrific. So next we have Victoria Vega. Victoria just finished her sophomore year. So she's going to be a junior in September. Victoria, tell us a little bit about your finishing up your sophomore year and how you're looking forward to this upcoming junior year. Well, yeah, I just finished my sophomore year remotely, which was different, a very different experience for me. So that also taught me to be doing work on my own, which I really think that will help me in my junior year by having, I had to self teach myself most of the things that I learned. So I feel like that's really going to help me moving forward. And I'm really excited for my junior year and things to come. That's great. And we're glad to have you today. And now I'd like to introduce you all to Juliana Gong, who actually just graduated. She is one of our seniors that is now moving on to college. She was actually our salutatorian. So Juliana, why don't you share uh, where you're headed in September? Yeah, so in late August, I'm gonna be attending Grove City College, which is in uh, Western Pennsylvania. And I'm going in as an elementary education major. Terrific. We are excited for you and this next step. It's great. So as we talk today, I want to find out what is your favorite part of TCS? What do you love the most? Emmanuel, you want to get us started? Yeah, sure. Well, firstly, I really love the teachers because in Timothy, uh, not many teachers are here for the money. So most of them are very genuine people and actually like really nice to talk to. I know so many of my teachers, like if I didn't have this specific teacher, I would not be interested in this subject really. For example, history, like we, I had two awesome teachers back to back, Mr. Sawick, may he have an awesome retirement and uh, Mrs. Dagnall, who's new this year and she's actually been like pretty good. And I- <laughs> <laughs> That's great. We actually had Mrs. Dagnall on yesterday and uh, I agree with you. I think she's terrific. And lots of uh, the students have said the same, right? So glad she's joined us. And Victoria, how about you? What is your favorite part of TCS? Uh, like what Emmanuel said, you know, the student-teacher relationship is something special at Timothy that you will not find at any other school, most likely. Um, you can tell from every single teacher that they care about you. They care about your well-being not just academically, but emotionally and mentally and spiritually. 
So that is definitely my favorite thing, mm -hmm. along with the relationships that you have at Timothy, because most of these people you've known since you were a little kid. And since our school and our numbers are very small, that you are, you have, you have tight knit relationships with these people. And mm -hmm. you just have to love that because they're like sisters and brothers to you. Big family, right? That's great. Thank you. Juliana, how about you? What was your favorite? Yeah, so similar to what the other two said, I love the community at TCS. Um, I mean, the teachers care about you. And, uh, you know, when you're sick or you're not feeling well, then they can tell that something is off. I even had one teacher offer to make me tea when I wasn't feeling well. So they really do care about you. Um, and then just something to add, I also really like that the school goes from kindergarten through senior year of high school. And so you have the opportunity to interact with both the littlest um, four-year-old and also the seniors. So um, when I was uh, just starting out in high school, then I would still be able to make friends with uh, the upperclassmen. Uh, and then now I also had the opportunity to work as a TA with um, the kindergarten class, which I love doing. And so I get to know like everyone at the school. That's terrific. No question. It is such a beautiful thing to watch all the different grade levels interact, right? I often say uh, when I have people on tours and I explain about the campus, right, that we get to walk in between buildings. And one of the joys of that is watching the young as you guys, you know, you're like superstars to the elementary kids. And I know so many of you get to interact with them um, through Junior Tiger program and through the TA program, which we're going to talk about in a little bit. Uh, lots of opportunities for you all to mentor, right, and disciple those little ones. And they just think the world of you. So it just builds tremendous community on our campus. Love that as well. So, you know, when I ask alumni what is uh, about their favorite memories, one thing that often comes up is the DR trip. And I know, Juliana, you just got back from that, right? Uh, so blessed and grateful that you were able to go, right? Right before COVID-19. Tell us a little bit about that experience. Yeah, so the senior DR trip, the seniors get to go um, every year and have been for many years. Um, and so when we go, we have this kind of maybe 45 minute program that um, all the seniors come together to do where you have skits and you have kids songs and worship songs and puppets where you get to perform for the kids in the Dominican Republic. Um, and all of them have um, a biblical theme tied to it so that you get to do these songs, but you're also teaching them about God and about Jesus's love. Um, and one of my favorite things that we got to do when we went was visit the Handfuls of Hope School down there. Um, and I loved interacting with the kids there because at first they were kind of shy and uncertain about what we were doing there. But as soon as we got more excited and started putting, all, putting in our all, then they started getting excited and they wanted to jump around and dance with us and they wanted to braid my hair. And, they were just super grateful for everything and their joy was contagious and I loved that. That's terrific. That is such a neat experience, right? To interact with those children and watch their eyes light up, right? When you share uh, God's love with them. That, uh, and Don Cords has been going on that trip since the very first year Timothy went. And so now it's over 20 years that Timothy Christian School has been going to the Dominican Republic and ministering there with the senior class. So it's quite a history, quite a legacy. Timothy is leaving in the DR and uh, Mr. Cords, uh, his ministry, Handfuls of Hope, was actually birthed out of the trips that Timothy took down there. So just such a neat connection and it's such a beautiful ministry. We're so glad we could partner with him and continue to bless everything going on in the Dominican Republic. So thanks for sharing about that, Juliana. Yeah. So another often mentioned by alumni that you all have just currently recently experienced would be Spirit Week and Riot Night. Victoria, will you tell us a little bit about what that is for those listening that don't know about Spirit Week? Of course. So Spirit Week is 
one week that we usually have in the middle of November, where every day we have these theme days that you dress up according to the theme, like nerd day and character day. And then usually on the last, oh, always on the last day, the Friday, we have our t-shirt day where each class picks a theme, whether it's, you know, The Incredibles or Dr. Seuss. My grade this year, we picked Ancient Rome. So we, so you design a t-shirt, you wear the t-shirt the whole day. And then we stay after school to around 10 or 11 o'clock, it depends on how long we take. And during the night, we do all these different challenges and games against class against class. Um, and we do a skit or a cheer. And then we have a banner and we just have so much fun. And it's just where our class gets to unite and just it just such it's something that you can't explain unless you go to Timothy. <laughs> it's just something so amazing. That's so. great. Emmanuel, coming in as a freshman, um, was it what you had thought or hoped it would be, or was it even more? I mean, personally, I heard so many things about it. I didn't know what to expect. But what came was, I really liked what came, though. <laughs> <laughs> It was, it was like a flash of like different events that like, I couldn't really comprehend it sometimes, but it was all really fun. And, and now you'll be really ready for yeah, sophomore year, right? Ready. Because <laughs> it's like a thing where like no one tells the freshmen really what's going to happen so that they have less of a chance, I guess. So I guess it's like some sort of tradition, but I'll be out of that cycle now. So now we'll be ready to compete. <laughs> That's great. You're looking forward to really making your mark then this coming year, right? Yeah. Yeah. Juliana and Victoria, do you have your t-shirts from every year saved? Yeah. From right from right night. Yeah. Yep. I know I've seen some alumni have, uh, for reunions have brought back their shirts, you know, to hang at the reunion. Really fun. So hold on to those. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Okay, so I have been asking all my guests all week long uh, for one word that describes Timothy Christian School for you. Emmanuel, do you want to share your one word? Okay, so I chose a bit of an obscure word because I wanted to get the people reading to think a little bit, I guess. And it's called numin like numinous, basically. Uh, I, not many people have heard of this word, actually. And essentially, it means you have to be very religious, but also able to make people question, but in a fascinating way. So, for example, uh, in many older texts, people would describe numinous, like disrespect God. So they'd use this like different word because, you know, God's holy, which means separate. Like, usually people who shadow come here, I've noticed. And it's, it's pretty good in my opinion. And, yeah. <laughs> they notice something different, right? You know, I've had people that I've taken on tour, Emmanuel, say to me, you know, you can really sense the presence of God on this campus. And yeah, I think I, that's I what you're describing, right? The yeah. presence of God is very clear on Timothy Christian School's campus. So thank you. Victoria, what's your one word? The word I chose was impactful. So Timothy has not just impacted me, but has impacted hundreds before me. And with that, Timothy is especially, you know, it's different. It doesn't just, like most schools, give you just a gift of academics. It gives you the gift of a close family, a great and a great academic environment, but most of all, an education that is seen through the eyes of scripture. That's terrific. And I love that you said, you know, impacted, you know, hundreds before you. And it's even more than that. We have right now over 1800 alumni. So impacted almost 2000 people, right? And the number is probably exponentially greater, right? Because each of the, as you're impacted, you then impact others. So I love that word. Okay, Juliana, how about you? What's your one word for Timothy? Yeah, so the one word that I chose was supportive. 
because I think that everyone at Timothy wants to see you succeed. Um, I love that teachers will meet you where you are, but then push you to do your best and challenge you. Um, and then if you're struggling with something, then they're more than willing to you know, help you out, whether that's after school or um, giving up their lunch period even and helping you. Um, and even your peers and other students want to help you and they, they'll tutor you just because, because they want to help you and they want to see you succeed. And I love that. That's terrific. It's true. I have witnessed that many times, all of you helping one another in various ways, everything from academics to sports, just really encouraging at one another. And certainly the faculty and staff do that all the time. Absolutely. So how do you all see faith and learning uh, integrated at TCS? Where do you see that? Victoria, will you get us started? So, as I said before, is that all each academic subject is seen th through the eyes of scripture. So, for my biology class that I took last year, we deep dived into creation and evolutionism. So, that was one place that we were able to dissect the how the world was created and then how most people like how evolution and how the world was created through that. So we were able to take Bible verses for that, for to see where how the world was created. And then later on, we debated between, you know, creationism and evolutionism and used different things. And then by the end of the unit, we all were able to come to agreement and say the world was created by a divine being, which is the Lord. It's great. It's a great example of exactly what's going on, you know, in the classroom. Thank you. How about you, Juliana? How do you see faith and learning integrated? Yeah, so of course we have actual Bible classes that we um, have as part of our curriculum, and that's all the way from our littlest four-year-old all through high school. We have Bible verses that we memorize, and we have um, weekly chapels where you get to specifically learn about God in the Bible. Um, but then as Victoria mentioned, it's also incorporated into different subjects, so such as science or um, English. We also, within the past few years, we read um, Milton's Paradise Lost, uh, where we got to kind of look through different lenses, both a more objective lens and a more biblical perspective um, and kind of analyze the differences in that, which is really, really cool and interesting to me. Um, and then also teachers where it's a little bit harder to incorporate, such as like math, they're still super open to discussing any biblical questions that you have and they'll pray with you if you want it or pray before tests and stuff. And so they really make an effort to um, incorporate God into our lives just on a daily basis. That's great. Yeah, it's not just in Bible class, right? We do have that in chapel. It's all week long throughout all your academic subjects. And you're right, Juliana, from K-4 all the way through senior in high school. Yeah, for sure. So I would love to hear about each of your favorite teachers. I know some of you alluded to a little bit of that before, but uh, Emmanuel, tell us about your favorite teacher at Timothy. Well, I wouldn't really say she's my favorite because there's just so many teachers I genuinely like in Timothy. Like I could name four right now if you would like me to. <laughs> so you have a lot of favorites. That's great. Yeah. <laughs> so I was going more for the impact route. And okay. So, because most of the teachers that I would consider my favorite now have been very recent teachers. So I can't really see the impact like they've had thus far, but I yeah, can okay. assure you they will. So I'd like to reference my kindergarten teacher Mrs. Weber, she, uh, she impacted me heavily because before I appeared in her class, right, I just, I didn't want to do work at all. Like, I just, I was like, what's the point of this? I already know this, right? <laughs> because my, my parents are teachers and they would teach me like basically some of the same stuff at home already to prepare me. And I guess maybe you could say they over-prepared me for school, right? So I'm not sure exactly what Ms. Weber did but somehow she got me to pay attention. And I, I really am grateful for that because I might not have cared about school at all if not for Ms. Weber. 
in all of this. I love that. Shout out to Mrs. Weber for sure. I actually, um, both my girls had Mrs. Weber and they're now in college and uh, they still remember and love her dearly too, Emmanuel. She absolutely made an impact on them also. So that's so neat and something you'll hold with you uh, forever. And really fun as Juliana, right, is going to be a kindergarten teacher, she hopes someday, right? So Juliana, we'll have kids talking about you like this soon. <laughs> <laughs> that's fun right how who was your favorite juliana you i know you had a two that you wanted to share about right yeah so um one of my all-time favorites was mr stawick who taught uh, middle school history and i had him i i think i had him for all three years of middle school mm -hmm. um and history is not one of my strong suits um, and so before that, I was not very interested in it. And I still don't think it's going to be my favorite, but he definitely helped me um, appreciate it more. Uh, and he was just a really funny teacher. Uh, he would always tell us that um, we would have as much fun in the class as we could handle. And so if things got out of hand, then he would be able to kind of reel us back in. But he was just super funny, um, always wanted to put a smile on our faces. And he would even carry that in through high school um, when I would just walk around and see him on campus and he would be like, oh, hi, Juliana, remember this and insert um, inside joke there. Um, and so that was really fun getting to see him both as his student and later. And then the other teacher who's one of my current or was one of my current teachers that I loved was uh, Mr. Barr. And he taught um, me junior and senior year in Bible and worldview. And, what, um, and so I think that was really good in preparing me as I'm going off to college and offered to make me tea. And so he really does care too. That's great. And for those of you who were with us yesterday, Mr. Barr was one of our uh, interviewees yesterday representing the high school. So uh, lots of uh, great things, certainly, in those classes, right, to teach you and prepare you for the next level. That's great. And thank you for the shout out to Mr. Stawick, who um, did Legend. retire. And uh, as Emmanuel said, yeah, and he certainly is uh, a favorite through the years. Often uh, just he made learning fun, right, as we said. So good. Victoria, who is yours? Um, so out of, you know, so many teachers, I would have to pick um, my science teacher that I had for the first time last year, Mrs. Johnson, even though I've only had her so far two years, and I only had her for a class one time, but she has impacted my life so deeply. You know, she's not just a, um, a, a teacher, but she's also a mentor. You know, there's no words to describe how powerful an impact she's made in my life. You know, she's been there just not for, not for school, not just to help me for that, but also to help me with all my other problems in life. And I always call her my school mom because she's always there to check on me. And, you know, when we went on the high school retreat, my mom actually told me to tell Miss Johnson that you know, if anything happens to me, she's responsible. But, um, you know, just, but academically, she's also helped me grow so much. Going into the first day of freshman year, I'm going to say it, I hated science. I hated anything to do with science. You know, the first test I took, I did so poorly on. And I was just so upset at myself. And I told her, I'm not taking this class and I'm going to switch out to another class. But she said no. She even told the guidance counselor that I'm not allowed to change because she saw potential in me. And then by the end of the year, I ended up becoming one of her best students. I was always the person that she would call to answer a question because she would take time out of her day to be able to come and explain it deeper to me. So I'm just so thankful for her. And then sophomore year, I love her so much. I became her TA. And so every day, you know, I did for two days a week, I TA'd for her. But, you know, during lunchtime, I'd be like, do you have any work for me? Because I loved grading her work and, you know, making life easier for her because she was currently getting her master's. 
so I wanted to help her so she would give me work she's like oh you don't have to and I was like no I have to do it so I'd always be doing work for her like throughout the day or something and I just enjoyed being with her so much that she even came to my sweet 15 she actually attended it because she just loved me so much and I wanted her to be there so she actually came that's so great, right? To form those relationships with teachers. And I do agree with all of you. That is something so special at Timothy Christian School. And even my girls that have graduated still keep in touch with several of their teachers. And it's just a beautiful thing to see that, that those relationships aren't just for a particular subject, but they are across the board and different areas helping you in your life, right? And will continue beyond Timothy. Thank you for sharing about those, everybody. I want to uh, finish up. We have just a few more minutes and I would love to hear about how you feel TCS is preparing you for college and beyond. So um, Juliana, do you want to get us started? Yeah, sure. Um, so TCS has prepared me both academically and spiritually. So first um, I'll do academics. So we've had um, AP classes and dual credit classes that I've taken. Um, to help me kind of get prepared for that more um, college vibe, I guess, where you teach yourself, but then you also have um, your teacher to help you um, fill in the places where you're a little bit unsure. Um, I also love that if there wasn't an AP class that was offered that um, you could do it on your own and you could do an independent study and then they would order the exam for you later. Um, so that helps you. Um, and then spiritually, um, especially in senior year, we've had classes that are specifically designed to prepare you um, to take God's word with you through the future. Um, and two of those classes were um, Senior Bible and Worldview. So in Senior Bible, what I loved was that they got more into the apologetics um, of the Bible and you know why do we believe what we believe? Um, and that kind of helped me uh, establish a foundation for when I go into college. Um, and then also a worldview, which was fun because we got to look at uh, different worldviews um, throughout the world and throughout history and kind of discuss, you know, why Christianity um, makes the most sense. Um, and it was also great. Um, to do our uh, senior car time, which is uh, like 20 to 25 minute presentation that all seniors have to do, where you um, kind of present both sides of a controversial argument and then give um, arguments for both and then say what the biblical perspective of that is. Um, and that uh, helps you prepare not only um, to give presentations in the future, uh, but also to really think about the kind of deeper questions and that helped me prepare as I'm going to go into college and in life. That's terrific, Juliana. I'm so glad you feel well prepared for <laughs> heading off to Grove City. And uh, we're so excited for you to do that. You know, uh, Victoria had mentioned about the TA program and TAing for her, uh, Mrs. Johnson. And I know you also TA'd as well, is that right? Yeah, I did. Tell us, for those who don't know what that means, would you share about what that program is about? Yeah, so the TA program, um, if you have any study halls, then you're allowed to take in a TA, and that can be any teacher. Um, it can be in elementary, middle school, or high school. And since I want to be an elementary school teacher, I chose to work with the elementary. Um, so for one year, I did TA for a second grade class um, where I got more experience like grading papers and, and learning kind of how the process of going about grading and uh, helping a student who is struggling more. Um, and then this year I got to TA for Mrs. Barry who teaches kindergarten, which I loved. And for that, I got a lot more hands-on experience of this is how you know the child's brain works. Um, and I also got to work with students um, individually. So making up classwork if they missed a day. And so I got to like look at the, their worksheets and um, go through the process of learning, okay, this is how you would actually teach someone. 
um, which was really great for me and good experience. Terrific. I'm so glad both of you ladies have gotten to take advantage of the being a teacher's assistant and uh, learning from that experience. Terrific. Emmanuel, have you started to see how you're being prepared for the, for, for the future after Timothy? Yeah, I have. There's been this thing called career day and yes. it has been very helpful because we got to talk to all these different professional people. I remember I spoke to a doctor, a lawyer, and a federal agent who works for the IRS, and they all were very compelling people, and I enjoyed listening to what they said, and it really gave me some insight into their fields, and I especially appreciated the federal agent because I kind of want to work for the FBI. I don't know. It's just, it seemed like something very interesting to me, so I had a conversation with her, and then she asked, like, why do I know so much stuff about this and stuff like that, and then we had, like, a talk about it. And it was cool. And I really That's liked great. It. I'm glad. I'm glad that was a great experience for you. And we do do that every year in the high school. There is a career day. Some years we have some of our own parents speak at that. And some years we have alumni. And uh, one of the alumni actually that's going to be interviewed tomorrow, he's actually been uh, part of our career day in the past. So that's great. And Victoria, how about you? How do you see yourself being prepared for what's next? Well, I see myself being prepared because Timothy has definitely taught me a sense of time management because, you know, we are given homework every single day. So when I, and, you know, on top of that, I have sports. So I have to learn when to do things on what day. And then we also have RunWeb, which also tells you when everything is due and then what the lesson plan will be. So I can, if I want to, I can do work ahead of time just so I'm not busy because I, I do all, all sports for each season. So that helps me to stay, you know, calm and just be able to tie, like manage my time. And especially since we have time to get to each class. So that has taught me to be organized, to be able to get my books so I can quickly go to a class. So, and then, you know, writing skills, being able, because Ninth grade year, I was able to do, we did intense learn, writing skills and that actually helped me. So when I'm doing essays for different colleges to be able to get in, that's definitely gonna help me later on in the road, so. Terrific, that's great. I'm glad you all feel that way. A lot of people will say thank you again, Manuel, Juliana and Victoria for being with me today. And thank you to all of you who are out there listening Please tune in again tomorrow at one o'clock to hear from our alumni and we wish you all a blessed rest of today.